That's a lot of chickens, boys. <laughs> what up, guys? And welcome back to another one today. Today, today. We got Jordan with us doing literally an Arctic goose hunt today. This is, this is probably one of the coldest days of the season. I know I've said that before. I know you guys have heard me say that, but today, right now, it's sitting at 12 degrees. Uh, the wind chill's like at negative seven. Extremely cold, to say the least. But today, we're doing a little field hunt, and uh, I think we're gonna have six or seven guys. Gonna be in the A-frames. It's gonna be an afternoon hunt because this morning it was too cold none of the birds flew whatsoever they all stayed on water so now what we're gonna do is uh, wait for them to come to the field to eat <laughs> when you walk out to uh, where we're sitting up here you got to walk across the entire field obviously and you walk into the wind and we all were trying to talk on the way out here and it literally, the wind so cold, it kept taking my breath away. I couldn't even breathe. Had to literally walk backwards so the wind wasn't in your face. But it is brutally cold. Um, we're gonna be running all full bodies today. Pretty small spread, but all full bodies. It's gonna be easy to get up and go down. Oh yeah, out here making us a juicy, juicy little full body spread. Oh, but today we are with Cameron and the boys from Wing Chaser. Let me tell you what, they have been doing nothing but grinding this entire season. Look at Cameron's poor truck. This thing hasn't had a bath in months. They do, they just grind and get after it, let me tell you what. So this is what we got. We got the A-frame set up. Got them brushed in extra heavy. The wind is actually coming this way. And here's a spread. We're sitting this full body spread really, really tight and really close. Ooh, we are in the blind here. And let me tell you what it is. It's very, 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 very cold. I know I got my warm gear over the top, but old Jordan over here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that thermal olive ducks hoodie. Oh my goodness. You liking it? Oh yeah. They're warm. Oh, they really so are. nice. They're thick. You yep. can't help but love them. They are. They're nice. Uh, if you guys want to pick up our thermal ducks hoodies, they are all back in stock. I will link them down in the description below. But uh, we're gonna stay in here for a minute to try to get warmed up. Uh, the wind chill is still like negative four or five, I believe. And we're sitting at about noon, I believe. It's like right at noon. So we're gonna try and hope we're gonna really hope that these birds get off the water here before long and we start shooting them here before long so they've been on the water all morning long because it's been so cold cross our fingers hope for some luck for you, buddy. what's wrong bud oh wanting that jerky huh he's wanting that jerky look at him look at him oh poor guy life is not fair man life ain't fair uh oh Oh, yeah, man. Oh, he is in doggy heaven right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, some good goose summer sausage right, there, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got some more for chew me there, Chew it bud? next time. It'll last longer. Yeah, you didn't even chew it, pal. Well, look at that, though. Oh, oh, Dylan, he got himself two clones. Look at them bad boys. Those are called clone decoys. Those things look amazing. Sure do. Most realistic, you know, goose motion decoy I've definitely ever seen. They, uh, they, the boys have used them, I don't know, two or three hunts now. And uh, they have absolutely piled them up with these things. They look so realistic. The wing beat, you can adjust the speed on it. So however fast you want the beat of the wing, you adjust that off a remote. Really handy, handy, handy. Uh oh, here they are. Oh. Kill him, guys! Kill him! Kill him! Nice, boy. Howdy! They didn't even circle on us, boys. They wanted it. 
We got one at the fence over there. Shoot Give him hell! Oh, we got the down snow daddy. Here he comes! Here he comes! Ah! <laughs> oh, that white bird came in fast. Oh, there he goes. Uh oh. He did. Yeah. We got dead birds, doggies. They happy. Look at them. Yeah. Oh, you've been getting some birds, boy. Yeah. Big flock coming. Oh, coming over the top, boys. side yeah and those birds came on the deck but once they got to us man they they did they gave us a hard flare they didn't like something but going good uh, it's extra cold extra windy these birds are extra vulnerable today they're wanting to ha hammer down they're wanting to get in the field this was the day to make it happen two out front here Both of them close ones. Nice, nice. Pretty sure, pretty sure the old retake is triple. Did you drop them with the old retake? The old retake, man. Yeah. Did you like it? Hey, Kicks like a mule, but it shoots strong. Dude, I have to dogs. say, it shoots here. through. Not yeah, it shoots. I'll give you that. It shoots straight. On, this is the first time I brought the old retake on in a while, and uh, I hand it to Dale, and I'm like, I got to film. Take this thing and shoot him. So I'm letting him shoot the old retake. And uh, I'm filming with the camera, obviously. If you guys like this video so far, give your boy a big old thumbs up. Nice. What'd you guys drop? Three four, or four? four nice. Ooh, caught him out of the air. The dog. That that was nice, well, dude. They stayed the on the deck the whole way. Well, that was right. beautiful. Oh, we all had to come back to the truck. It's so cold. It doesn't matter what gear you got on. I mean, I haven't taken off my gloves, and my hands are just. Oh God, they're. I mean, they're gone. So it's midday here. It's right at 1:15, and what the plan is? We're gonna go to Pizza Hut. We're gonna get us some lunch. Um, we actually started hunting a lot later than usual today because the birds weren't getting off the water like I had said. So now there's going to be a waiting period before they really get off the water. Uh, the birds that we shot were just kind of jumping roosts and they actually came over the top of us. And we weren't even expecting to get into that many birds like we did that early in the day. Like I said, and, and a lot of you guys know, when it's bitter, bitter zero, I mean, when you got zero wind chills, when you got single digit temps and the wind chills are just so, so low, a lot of times birds will not fly in the morning. That's just usually what happens. So we're gonna go eat us some pizza and then we'll probably be back in the blind by probably 2, 2.30 and hopefully they'll be flying by 3, 3.30. That's, that's the plan. We've already done really good. I think we have like 12 or 15 birds on the ground. It's going really well. We're getting ready to go back out and it's still 16 degrees. It's been about an hour and a half since I talked to you last. My stomach's really full and, I, and I'm a lot, a lot more tired than I was uh, walking out of the field. But it's 16 degrees, sitting at like uh, right at a zero degree wind chill. So, you know, it's all kinds of summer like out here, let me tell you. But we're gonna make the cold walk into the wind and uh yeah we just watched a bunch a bunch of birds pile in uh the roost that these birds are actually coming off of so it looks good it looks like we might have a hunt uh lined up here it's two o'clock so we're getting into the latter part of the evening they should fly oh boy look at all them chickens <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. wow that's a lot of chickens boys Oh, look at these clones. How good do those bad boys look? Man, them look gorgeous. Kill them, guys. Oh, 
One down, boys. One down. One. Well, that's the three first first three birds Holy that we've had want anything to do with us. Old Clifford, just loving life. Look at that tail. <laughs> oh, he dead. That boy dead. Nice. Oh yeah, we got a speck down, baby. I definitely thought it. Got a speck down. <laughs> Nice hey. shooting, boys. Two more down. Nice shooting, boys. Nice shooting. <laughs> oh, he's going down. That boy dead. fell I only got the one on this side that fell two more fell on this side good shooting boys good shooting shooting boys. Whoo, how some good shooting fellas, my goodness. Holy smokes. those clones oh my goodness look at them clones dude that looks so good in this camera those things those clones right there those decoys are killing it oh man we've been out here for so long man can't feel my feet anymore pretty froze it's uh right at 4 30 in the evening and uh they've really started flying the last hour they really started flying right at 3 30 in the last 30 minutes has just been group after group after, after group i mean doing really well here the, those clone decoys i can tell you right now that is the realest motion out of a dark, out of a Canada decoy that I've ever seen in my life. You put those clones over any spread, I don't care, you know, if it, you put out a white spread, you use the snow goose clones. A dark spread, you can use those lesser clones. And I'll uh, tell you what, realistic. First time I've ever used them. Cameron, he's been using them, I don't know, probably on the last five hunts and been having really good luck with them. Oh boy, look at him do it, boy. What'd you drop? Two? You dropped two? Two. Two geese down. Three. Three geese down. Oh, just got done picking up here. And let me tell you what, it obviously hasn't warmed up any, especially now that it's evening. I mean, it is. It is so frigid. My feet have been froze for probably a two, two and a half solid hours here. But check out the pile. 27 lessers, six specks, and two snows. Not a bad pile at all. Not too shabby, boys. Not too shabby at all. But on, honestly, it's just been so cold this morning, you couldn't hunt. It didn't matter. These birds, any birds, they weren't getting off the roost this morning. It was too, way too cold. What's up, guys? Sorry, it is the next day. So yeah, it's the next day, and I'm out scouting right now, and uh, not having much luck so far because just like yesterday during the video it was cold and it's still cold it's in the single digits uh, wind chills probably right at like three degrees today I just really hope you guys like that video because I I mean absolutely froze my feet and my hands clean off trying to make that video I ran the big camera most of the time I shot a little bit put the camera down and shot here and there but for the most part on the big groups that did come and do it over the decoys I was using the big camera and I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you guys like the big camera footage, 
uh, a little more than the GoPro, vice versa. If you just like a mix of both, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Because that stuff's important to me to always be trying to do what you guys want and what you guys like most. But as far as the hunt, it was a good pile, let me tell you what. So we were set up close to a roost, a big body of water. The birds that did it over the decoys the best, the ones that gave it up the most, were birds that were coming back to the water. And we were just set up right in between the water and their flight line to the water. And it was just intriguing. It was like a last minute bite right before you go back for your midday drink. But shout out to Cameron and the boys at Wing Chaser. If you haven't followed them on Instagram, you need to. They're a guide service here in central Kansas. To all my long-term viewers that, that actually watch my hunts and enjoy them. A lot of you have seen a lot of videos where I'm doing a lot of hunts with them. Those boys have been on the birds. And I mean, I tell you what. If you want to book with them though, put them up in the DMs on Instagram. They should have some spring snow goose conservation hunts open. And uh, let me tell you what, they cover some territory. So them boys, they cover a lot of ground when they scout. So you could be hunting anywhere. Be sure to check out the new conservation hoodie from Ducks. I'll link it down below if you want to pick it up. But like always, thank you all for being here. We will see you all on the next one. Peace.